Oh my God, you talk too much. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Gretchen from Gretchen's Bakery, and today I have another new recipe for you. You are going to flip. I have a lot of words, but I really don't have a lot of words to describe the awesomeness of this new recipe. And I know I say that a lot, like pretty much about all my recipes, but come on, seriously, do I not share with you the best recipes that there are? Okay, so peanut butter cake, guys. Peanut butter cupcakes with peanut butter icing. And so it's a new recipe for peanut butter cake. And I just need to talk about flax eggs for a minute. The egg replacement in a lot of my recipes now that I've transitioned to vegan is now what's called uh, like a flax egg. It's basically flax seeds that are ground down to a meal and when you add water to it, uh, flax seeds have sort of like this gelatinous binding properties in recipes very similar to eggs. And so when you put flax eggs in cake recipes, there is such a moistness that comes through that honestly compared to egg cake recipes it's really unmatched i wish i knew about flax eggs years ago because i'd have been using them my cakes are so super moist now that i'm using flax as the replacement for the egg so for you guys who are like oh it doesn't have eggs in the recipe forget it i'm not going to use it like come on just because it doesn't have eggs in the recipe doesn't mean it's bad and actually it means in this case, it is way better. So I really hope you will try it. Uh, there's a bit of a backstory here. I have someone who is, I consider him my professional taste tester. And actually, he's sort of like, I collaborate with him on a lot of ideas here for Gretchen's Bakery. I have to credit him for the Metropolitan Cupcake, completely his idea. He worked with me for the entire week on the Key Lime Pie Cheesecake Nightmare basically just really getting the taste and the texture down and so um, he's just really good at like I don't know eating cake I guess I mean if I thought I met my match when it comes to eating and baking cakes I have definitely met my match with this one so here is what happened last weekend after we ate dinner basically was like well what are we gonna have for dessert and I said how about peanut butter cupcakes and he automatically knows that my go-to everything is chocolate. So he knew, of course, I'd be making chocolate cupcakes with peanut butter icing. And he was basically like, really? How about if we make peanut butter cake with peanut butter icing? And I was like, mm, that's like a lot of peanut butter. I don't know that that's really going to be that good. I can admit when I'm wrong. And guys, let me tell you, I was wrong. This combination this super moist peanut butter cupcake with peanut butter cheesecake icing and of course I did have to put a little streak of fudge in there I had to get my chocolate fix in there but it's really just a small little swirl in the icing and you could leave it out or put it in there I think it really makes everything come together perfectly but this recipe is so good I know you're gonna love it and if you just please try the flax for this I know that I'm gonna get you on board whether you are doing a vegan lifestyle or not just because the recipe doesn't have eggs in it doesn't mean it's bad actually it means it's awesome so anyway enough of me yapping oh my god you talk too much let's get right to the recipe so check it out so for the peanut butter cake recipe you will need sugar flour any milk alternative of your choice white vinegar peanut butter, vegan butter or shortening, baking powder, flax meal and vanilla extract. First get the milk and the vinegar together to sour and then add the vanilla extract to that. Next you're going to make the flax paste by adding warm water to the meal and then let it stand for about five minutes to thicken up. Cream the vegan butter with the sugar on medium to high speed for just about three to five minutes to get it nice and light and fluffy. Then add the peanut butter and just mix it to combine. Now add the flax paste and mix it well. And now we're going to do what's called an alternating creaming mix method where we add about one third of the sifted dry ingredients, which is the flour and the baking powder. Mix it just until it's combined and then add half of the milk mixture. 
another one third of the flour, and then the remaining milk, and then the last of the flour. This is a method that is used when there is a heavy amount of liquids in a recipe like this one. It helps to bind everything to a smooth batter without curdling the mix since fats can only handle so much liquid suspended in them, but well, that's a bit of baking science and oh my god, I talk so much. So now portion the batter into the cupcake liners and bake them in a preheated 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for the first 12 minutes. That gets a good jump on the rise and then you'll turn the oven down to 350 for the remaining bake time. Total bake time for the cupcakes should just be about 25 minutes or until springy to the touch when you gently press the centers. In the meantime, get the peanut butter cream cheese buttercream made. And this recipe is so super simple. It's just vegan cream cheese and vegan butter together and mix that smooth. Then add the peanut butter and confectioner sugar and a bit of vanilla and that's it, you're done. Once the cupcakes are completely cooled, you can get to icing them. I am, of course, adding that little fudge swirl to mine because, duh, chocoholic here. And last, a spot of crushed peanuts to garnish and you are on your way to double peanut butter heaven. I really hope you will try this recipe, so be sure to head on over to Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab the recipe. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, it really does help the channel. Also, give me a sub if you're not already for more great vegan recipes weekly. I do want to thank everyone for joining me here and checking out my videos here in YouTube land where it is just flooded with baking channels. I really do appreciate that you guys are coming here to see me. So thanks again, guys. Really, it means so much to have your support. Speaking of support, if you think you can support me and Gretchen's Bakery for as little as a dollar a month, click the links below to find out how. And a special thanks to my newest patrons and PayPal pals this month. You are truly awesome for helping me to continue sharing my free recipes at Gretchen'sBakery.com and Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. Without you all helping me, I would have been long gone by now, so thanks just doesn't seem to be enough. Wow, I love talking just as much as I love sharing recipes, and if you like that too, you may want to check out my vlogs. All the links are below this video to click through to everything, guys. All right, I'll stop here, but I will see you again soon. Until then, happy baking. Bye for now.